As a world-renowned economist and a leading expert on race in America, Fryer has long been interested in what he calls cultural segregation, the gap between white culture and black culture. One embodiment of that culture is uh, what you name your kid. It's probably the, one of the few cultural items that we can really measure uh, precisely. What we did was we looked at the effects of your kid's first name on their life outcomes. Dr. Fryer analyzed the naming records of every baby born in the state of California over the last 40 years, and those names tell an unmistakable story. African American parents are more likely than any other ethnic group to give their children unique names. There is definitely a distinction between names for white people and names for black people. Black names be like Malik, Jaquan, Nashawn, Naheem. Tasha and Shamika. Shaniquas and the Nashawns and the Kayshawns. I know this girl, her name is Treasure, T-R-E-Z-U-R-E. -E. Struck me as typically, you know, more African-American name. I like the names that begin with S-H-A, like Shaheem, Shaheed, Shamar. Shaquem, Shakur. You know, Oprah is popular. It was actually in the 50s and the early 60s that we saw huge overlaps in the naming patterns of blacks and whites. So people, you know, naming their kids John, Michael, names like that. And what you saw was around 19, in the, in the, in the 1968 or so, kind of in the black power movement actually, you saw distinct bifurcation with black names getting more distinctively black, and a lot of them were Islamic names because the black power movement was about identity. Who are we? Who are you? Are you part of us? It wasn't until the late 80s and 90s that we started to get, you know, kind of the made up, concatenated names that you see now. This generation today, they, they sort of changed the, the whole name concept. They have names that are 30 letters long, you know, and... Um, <laughs> now, everybody tried to do something, um, how do you say, unique. They tried to name their kid over something different, you know?